form a single block or square and then we have to put the input and the output and the, we're just we're gonna have we're just gonna have to multiply that the three transfer function q1 q2 and q3 so that's it yeah so that's the simplified version so if we check <clears throat> this one is the answer g1 g2 and g3 so we move now to the next here we are given the three blocks as uh, we see in number one but the thing is we have a feedback loop this one is the feedback loop and it has no block that means this is unity or unit so what uh, we're going to do is to transform this into a standard canonical form of a block diagram and so here it is now so if we have a feedback loop the format the standard form is this we have to look first to what is the sign convention for the so for the feedback so it's negative so it should become positive in our uh equation so first the form or the format is this so, so we have the forward this one the feed forward um, the signal then one the invert of this this is negative so it should be positive then the product of the feedback and the uh, feed forward right yeah so this is the formula now we're going to transform this so, so since uh, the three blocks are arranged in series so we have to multiply them one by one with each other g1 g2 g3 so we are kind of done with this this one okay and then <laughs> the denominator one plus g see this is the g yeah so this one is the g right so this one is the g part so we have to just uh, affix here g1 g2 g3 then multiply by h which is the feedback loop in this case it is one so it is multiplied by okay so our answer, our solution is this one, no? So we have G1, G2, G3, then one plus G1, G2, and G3. So G1, G2, G3, one plus G1, G2, G3. Let us take a look at the answer. Here it is. Oh, what is this? G1, G2, 1 plus G1, G2, G3. G1, G2. Okay, G1, G2, G3. 1 plus G1, G2, G3. So we have this feedback unity okay right this one h okay so we go now to the next <clears throat> so we were given this um form instead of three blocks it is only two so what we're going to do is this. So we multiply first this, right? We simplify this. Okay. So when we simplify, let me use another one. So it becomes like this. There's a summing junction. There is a signal positive. 
So this one becomes one block only. Yes. And then there's a feedback G3 going here. And this negative. <clears throat> so how do we do this? So the form, no, the standard form is this, no? So G one plus G H. So let me go back to the first. So G, this one, no? G one plus G H, right? Okay. So G. So what is G? The feed forward or the direct direct loop that connects the input to the output. So we have to have this one G1, G2, so this one. Then here at the denominator one, since it is negative, so it should be positive here. One plus G, the feed forward, G1, G2, then times. H, which is G3, okay? So G plus one oh, over one plus G, so this is the G, and then this is the H, okay? So you only have to multiply the H with this uh, transfer block, okay? So C, what is this answer for the C? G1, G2, G3 over 1 plus G1, G2, G3, okay? This part that G1, G2, G3, 1 plus G1, G2, G3. Okay, then the other one, let us see. One, G1, G2, one plus G1, G2, G3. That, this one, huh? one, G1, G2, then one plus G1, G2, G3. Okay, so this one is A, then C, B. Huh? So it should be C. Wait, I'm gonna correct. So this one is A, then this one is a G1, G2, G3, one plus G1, G2, G3, okay? So we go now to the number four. So number four is this. So the first thing that we need to do is to simplify uh, this part, okay? So how do we simplify this part? So this is, um, arranged in parallel. Let me have another. So this one is arranged in parallel. So what we need to do is to uh, convert it into a standard form for the feedback. So this becomes what? G2 over one, since this, this is negative, so it becomes positive. Then GH, so G2 times H. So this is the simplified form of this. So we have to incorporate that here. So this positive, and this is a block G1, 
So we eliminated this trans uh, this summing junction. It becomes now this one no G two over one plus G two H two. Then there's a signal here, and then there's a feedback here, which is H one going back to the summing junction which is negative okay so what do we do next what do we do next um what we do is this we see that this is arranged in series right so all we have to do is to multiply this one right so that becomes So this becomes what? G1 times G2. Then the denominator is 1 plus G2 H2. Okay? So we're going to copy that here. No? So here, let me use the full blown. G1, G2 over 1 plus g2 h2 then h1 g2 h2 then we have this um, summing junction which has a positive here and this one is negative right uh, okay so here there is this feedback loop which is h1 okay so how do we simplify this so again uh, there's this uh, transfer function for the standard uh, simplification of feedback loop we have this forward loop then one if it's negative We'll put uh, positive here, G <laughs> times H, right? We're in, G is this, no? the whole, the whole thing. This whole thing is G, and this is the H, okay? So we're, we're going to do that. So we have this bar, then we put the G, G1, G2, 1 plus G2 h2 yeah this was the g it's the g then uh, the denominator one plus g so we're gonna copy this g1 g2 one plus g2 h2 okay then the h is h1 right So how do we simplify this? We simplify this by multiplying the numerator and denominator by this, no, this term, one plus G2 H2, one plus G2 H2. So if we if we multiply this um, term with this expression, no. So as if we did nothing because same same variable, no, divided by h by by itself, no, is one. So one plus g to h two, one plus g to h two, it's just one. So if you multiply by one, that changes nothing. No, it doesn't change anything. But here we can simplify because if we multiply this, right, we can cancel this because one is in the, the uh, in the numerator and the other is in the denominator. So here, what can be canceled? This one. We can cancel this because one is in the numerator and the other is in the denominator. So what will be left for us is this. G1, G2. 
this is right in the numerator and here one plus g1 g2 h1 okay so let me put that in another color here, somewhere here so the transfer function simplified that the overall transfer function is g1 g2 1 plus this one g1 g2 times h1 g1 g2 times h1 this should be the overall or simplified transfer function so let us take a look at the answer this one now g1 g2 g1 over g2 then one plus g1 g2 h1 plus uh, g2 h2 g1 g2 then one plus g1 g2 h1 then plus g2 h2 g1 g2 h Okay, so 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 here we have to to do this, right? Um, g one g two one plus g two h one, then one plus g one g two plus one plus g two h two, then times h one. Okay. Oh, we forget this. We have to. We have to multiply this, right? Sorry, this one. So one plus G two H two with this now yeah? because it is distributive, right? So one plus uh, G two H two here. One plus G two H two, and then here. This will be cancelled. So, what will be left is G two g1 g2 h1 no so here if we multiply this with this one plus g2 h2 then here is cancelled then g1 g2 h1 okay so one plus g2 h2 then g1 g2 h1 so here is the answer So G1, G2, that's it, over 1 plus G1, G2, H1, 1 plus G1, G2, H1, and the other is G2, H2, G2, H2, okay? This one, G1, G2, H1, G1, G2, H1, okay? Because this is commutative, no? A plus B is B plus A, it's the same. Okay, so I think that's it for now. We're gonna continue with the second set. The second set uh, will be take, uh, taken up soon. Mm -hmm.